Godzilla, you creepy. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Marvel Bush Shoujo Jubilee statue. I gotta give a big thanks to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. Check the links in the description below to see the latest coming from Kotobukiya. Now, this figure is not out at the moment. It's slated for release in late January, early February 2015. So if you're trying to pre-order this statue, you can do it. Big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So get our typical Bush Shoujo window box over here here and you can see this image of Jubilee looking very nice and then on the top right there same image of Jubilee and then there's a full body picture of Jubilee over there and then on the back couple product shots of the statue Ooh, coming up next She-Hulk can't wait for that one then there's this whole read up right here on the Jubilee character and the statue itself all right let's get to it and crack this thing open so here's a statue out of the packaging and this is a wonderful piece especially for those of us that like young hot Asian women with little itty bitty shorts over there I mean damn I've never seen Jubilee so sexy sexy before. I mean, really, they, they did a fantastic job with this. I think it's absolutely amazing. Now, for some reason or another, I really thought the product shots made her look like she was going to be a little, uh, I don't know, a little bit less endowed right over here, but she looks great. I think it's a great looking statue, and she does come with some cool accessories. For instance, this base right over here. I'm going to set her down right against there, and you can see that this has some nice sparkles going on in the base. As I get closer, you can see all the glitter right there and that translucent yellow plastic. You get these pegs right here that go nicely into her Chuck Taylors to hold her in place. It's really tricky to see, but there's parts of the base that kind of have this prism effect that's really cool. You can see some pinks and purple. This base is just a fantastic homage to Jubilee's powers. And I guess the figure is balanced enough where she can stand on her own without the base, but I do not recommend that. And you can see she does have those ports right there at the bottom of her feet. Now we get a couple display options for Jubilee over here. You can see that she has these rounded sunglasses, and then she comes with an alternate pair of sunglasses over here that have the squared off 90s look, which I actually prefer over these ones. Or you could have her displayed without any sunglasses at all, which I think is kind of weird. Such a notable accessory to the character. See that there's these little track sections right there, nicely sculpted in her hair, and same thing going right over there, and you can just place the sunglasses nicely right through there, and it looks great, and it matches very nicely with the figure. My only little gripe with this is that I wish we had some kind of storage for the extra set of sunglasses, you know, kind of like how we've gotten with the Spider-Woman's face, but you know, that's just a minor nitpick thing. Now the face right here is just absolutely beautiful as always. You can see those beautiful brown eyes, and she has some nice pink lipstick on there. I really like how the earring came out. That's really cool. You can see the earring on the other side too. They gave it this really nice gold paint and I think the hair is sculpted really well also. Just like how it comes forward and everything and you get all these little strands all over the place. Looking at it from the back, you can see how nicely the hair is sculpted over here. really like how the jacket came out on her too. This looks very shiny and I don't know, it looks like it's made out of like vinyl or something like that. I don't really know, but it's very reflective and I think it's sculpted very nicely. You get all these little pieces hanging out over here. This is really cool. Get some nice tattered sculpting right there with this wristband. We get some pink fingernails right there. It's just a little tricky to see. I really like the attention to detail on how they sculpted this top over here. It's really squeezing down on her breasts, so you get some, you know, bulgage going on right over there, and that is just really, really attractive. I think that looks great. And we get a nicely painted little X logo right there going around her choker. And again, you can see even the details on the fingernails over there. Nicely painted and sculpted studded bracelet. This does move as one piece. They are sculpted together. It's kind of subtle and difficult to pick up on the camera, but I really like this shading effect going on with the flesh tone on the figure. It looks great. You can see right there around her belly button they have like a slightly darker flesh tone paint I think it looks really good I like her Daisy Dukes over here that beautiful nalguitas over there I mean those cheeks are just eating those shorts so I'm nom, 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 there and that's looking really nice I mean really this is gorgeous this is probably my favorite part of the figure I really like the, how this thigh comes up to the cup of her buttocks right there uh, you can see you know, you get some uh, butt leaking out of the Daisy Dukes, and you know, you can't go wrong with that. I absolutely love that. It's very, very nice. I mean, come on. These legs are just very sexy. I'm just digging it a lot. I really like the flesh tone over here and how, again, you get some of that shading effect going on. And then you get her chucks right down here, which are sculpted very, very well. See the white paint and black came out very well on this. No smudging or anything like that. This looks really good. Even the little wrinkles in the sides of the Chuck Dailers look really nice. Just want to do one last pan looking up at the statue again. Damn. I'm going to say this is my favorite side of the statue though. 
It looks really nice. Now this statue stands just a little over 8 inches tall. Here's Jubilee compared to both Bishouju Psylocke statues. This is the regular X-Force version over here. Uh, I think she fits into scale with this one, uh, not so much this older one though. Here she is compared to the Marvel Legends Jubilee, which did not have this outfit, uh, which is the outfit I think most of us would have preferred. At least we get with the Bishoujo statue, and that is awesome. Man, here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Lifetime Spider-Man. So again, I'm very impressed with this piece. I really like it a lot. It's just a beautiful statue, man. They, they really did a good job on this thing. I, I really dig it a lot, and I highly Highly recommend it. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you want to see more, check out the Starfire review. That is by far the all-time sexiest Bishoujo statue. And if you want to check out my review of the Guardians of the Galaxy Blu-ray, check the link over there. And then subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. And please check out MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images. And check out the Shardimus Wang channel for the daily vlog. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>